Ann once told me a story of going camping with friends. The friends didn't realize the burdens that he was carrying, the problems that he had. And he was there in the tent late at night all by himself and thinking, if only I had stayed at a hotel, then I would have a Gideon Bible to read and I could turn again to awareness of God. But he didn't have a Bible with him and he felt more alone, more isolated. And then he prayed to God and he said, God, show me that you're real. He went outside of the tent and started to look around at the sky, felt the breeze on his face, and everywhere, everywhere that he looked, he was immersed in God's handiwork. And he said that it changed his life. That evening, he had a spiritual experience. Now, when he woke up in the morning, he still had the same problems, but my friend, when you have a spiritual experience and you wake up with a new awareness, your problems, they can't pull you down anymore because you know that God is greater. And you know that God knows how to solve your problems. God knows how to carry your burdens. And that everything is made new. In Psalms 19, verse 1, it says, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky proclaims the work of God's hands. It has been said all of creation is a song of praise to God. When we pause to examine God's wondrous handiwork, one thing becomes very, very clear. God is indeed a miracle worker. Throughout history, God has intervened in the course of human events in ways that can't be explained away by science or human rationale. God's miracles are not limited to special occasions, nor are they witnessed only by a select few. God is crafting God's wonders all around us, but sometimes in our busyness we're blind to see them. We have to open up our eyes and we will see anew. And these miracles are not just God's creations. We can see miracles of human creations as inspired by God. Just a few weeks ago, I was out at the Hoover Dam having a tour. And you have to look at something like that as something absolutely profound beyond what one man or woman could do, beyond what a group of people could do. It has to be something that is God-inspired and God-led. When you look around at the wonders all around you this week, the miracle of a newborn baby, the miracle of the world renewing itself with every sunrise, the miracle of lives transformed by God's love and by God's grace. Each day, God's miraculous handiwork is evident to all that see, and it's available for all to experience. The psalmist reminds us that the heavens are a declaration of God's glory. May we never cease to praise our Creator, for a universe that stands as an awesome testimony to God's presence and to God's power and to God's love for each one of us.